In this video, I'm gonna talk about five different work from home jobs, and these are gonna be in different industries, different types of jobs, so no matter who's watching, there's probably gonna be one that applies to you. And at the very least, this is gonna give you a very good idea of the direction to look, because there are a lot of opportunities for work from home jobs out there, and I noticed that a lot of people don't even know where to begin. So with that being said, if you enjoyed this type of content, let me know by gently tapping that like button, commenting down below, and if you haven't done it already, hit that subscribe button and ring the notification bell and let's jump right into it. So I see the ability to work remotely or work from home being more and more popular. Many people prefer working remote. Many others prefer a hybrid model where some days they work remotely and some days they come to the office. But it's very clear that the majority of people actually prefer not coming into the office. So if you're one of those people, the next job on the list is a good entry level job that just about anyone can do no matter what industry or what background you come from and that is customer service representative now you might be thinking customer service representative why would I do that when my company can just outsource this to a country like India or the Philippines well that is very common many companies do outsource to India or the Philippines but the truth is if you want to give your customers the best possible experience oftentimes there's a lot of friction when they're talking from somebody from another country. Even if the other person speaks perfect English, there's always gonna be some cultural differences and some nuances that they just are not going to understand unless they are American. You understand the words that are coming out of my mouth? And so many companies that want to give their customers the best possible experience will hire Americans, even though they know they have to pay them much more. Now, the average salary here is gonna be $36,000 a year, so it's not amazing, but at the same time, it doesn't require a degree. There are some jobs that can pay up to $60,000 a year, though. Now, the trick here is to have experience as a customer service representative, but do it in an industry that has a lot of money, right? So do it in an industry like finance or technology. And it does really help if you have some technology skills and you're somebody who's able to explain what to do and you're familiar with the company's technology that you're working for. Sometimes it might help if you're working for a company that sells a business to business type product. And basically what that means is you are selling your products to other companies. And usually if you're in that type of business, some of the clients that you're gonna be working with are going to be high ticket clients. So if they call in and they have a bad experience with a customer service representative, you know, because maybe they're from another country and they don't really understand them, for instance, that is gonna be a lot of money for the company to lose out on. Now, an example of a few companies that do this are going to be Zappos, Amazon and Retail Me Not. So these would be a few for you to look into if you want to apply to them and get your foot in the door. And by the way, if you're totally lost and you have no idea what career you want to go into or subspecialty, go ahead and check out my six step guide to choosing your dream career down below. It's completely free, it's very easy to read and it distills my entire philosophy on choosing the best possible career for you. If you sign up for it, you will also get access to my newsletter where I send out other exclusive valuable information. Number two on the list is going to be a great option in the technology industry, and that is gonna be a cloud engineer. Now, this is a super, super hot specialty right now. It's one of those that they are really trying to hire people for because there's just not enough people that have the skills needed to become a cloud engineer. And it's also one of those jobs that can easily be done remotely. And cloud engineers make around $115,000 a year. Now, a lot of the time, they are gonna have a computer science degree or maybe an IT background. Hello, IT. Have you tried turning it off and on again? <laughs> but many who get into cloud engineering actually don't have to have a computer science degree specifically. It is one of those things that you can learn online and get your first entry level job, get your foot in the door, and then start making more and more money as you get more experience. So this is a great option. And to be honest with you, there are a ton of options like this in the technology industry if you want to work remotely or work from home. Number three on the list is going to be a customer success manager. Now this is similar to a customer service representative, but there's a little bit of a twist. First of all, usually a customer success manager is extremely familiar with whatever product their company uses. And a lot of the time, just like customer service representatives, the ones that are paid very well are the ones that work for B2B or business to business companies. And not only are you responsible for making sure that the company that just bought whatever product you're selling, maybe it's a technology product, for instance, like some sort of software system, making sure that they are successful with that product and it's success
successfully implemented and their employees are trained. But on top of that, much of the time, your job is going to be to suggest other products that work really well with the ones they're using now, right? So you're essentially helping them use the products that they just bought, but you're also there to provide them solutions to problems that might pop up, AKA you're kind of upselling them. So this is kind of a semi customer service representative job and sales job. And with this one, you can typically make more money than just a customer service representative. So you could make up to $75,000 a year. And it is very common that you would work remotely. The next one on the list, number four is going Going to be a Salesforce developer. Now, Salesforce, if you're not familiar with them, is a huge company that has millions of users. And Salesforce is a cloud-based CRM or customer relationship management company. And they focus on sales, customer service, marketing, and automation for other companies. And having a deep understanding of the Salesforce software is an incredibly valuable skill set. Now, Salesforce developers make around $103,000 a year. And here's an example of a freelancer on Upwork that's earned over $700,000 as a Salesforce developer, right? So you can easily see there is a ton of demand here for people who have skill when it comes to working with Salesforce. And this is definitely something that you can do remotely or do from home. Number five on the list is a job that you can get into no matter what industry you're in, and that is recruiter. There are recruiters that work in accounting and pharmacy as medical doctors, et cetera, et cetera. You can become a recruiter basically no matter what career you work in or industry you're in. And basically they are the middlemen that connect companies with people who are seeking employment. Now, recruiters will make different money depending on the career they're in and the industry they're in, but they typically make over $50,000 a year. And some companies basically completely outsource their hiring process to recruiters, and some just outsource a certain part of it. And doing a lot of the work for the companies is not only gonna save them time, money, but also liability. So as a recruiter, you will be communicating with people who are looking for jobs, and you'll also be communicating with companies as well. And if you can develop a reputation for consistently bringing those companies really well qualified candidates that end up staying at the company and doing a great job, they're going to come back to you over and over and over again. Because the recruiting, hiring, and training process costs companies hundreds of thousands of dollars sometimes. And so if companies are going to spend all of that money to find candidates, they want to make sure that they are qualified and motivated. And the great thing about being a recruiter is you can do a lot of it remotely or from home. So I tried to include a bunch of different jobs that would apply to you in different types of careers and industries. Hopefully this gives you a really good idea of some good work from home or remote jobs that you can do. Check out my other videos right here. I made them just for you. Go ahead, gently tap that like button, hit that subscribe button, ring the notification bell, and comment down below any thoughts, comments, criticisms, etc. that you have on the video, and I will see you next time.